All right, we're here with High Voltage for the Live It Out Loud 2023 program. Their final show is coming up tomorrow at the Spanish Ballroom. And first of all, High Voltage, I would love to hear, how did you choose your band name? What does it mean to you? Well, uh, we were all thinking of ideas, and I just so happened to have the idea of go onto my playlist and look at random album covers. And I came across an ACDC, ACDC album cover, High Voltage. <laughs> All right, all right. For the rest of y'all, it resonated. It said something to you that you liked. Yeah, yeah. I was like that's cool. I yeah. think it uh, says something about uh, the high energy of our music um, because a lot of the stuff we play is a little bit more on the uh, faster paced side, and it's a little bit more aggressive. And so I think it describes our band pretty well. All right, that's perfect. That's true. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What about musical influences? You started touching on it a little bit there, but oh uh, man, yeah. like spice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a lot of lot. Of, I think we have a lot of metalcore uh, influence, sort of. So like your, uh, let me see. So like maybe Lamb of God a little bit or something like that. Uh, when I uh, when we were writing our original uh, riff, there's a band called Upon a Burning Body that I really love, and that riff is very inspired by them. Um, and so I feel like just a lot of heavier, sort of faster paced music does it a lot for us. Yeah. I take a lot of influence from my vocals from bands like, like mostly new metal bands. Um, I take a lot of influence from Kitty, Korn, uh, Slipknot. And for my clean vocals, like singing, I take a lot of influence from like Deftones and also just like, I don't know, just stuff like that. I just play what's ever fun. <laughs> <laughs> what's ever fun, yeah. 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 I get my drum influence basically from growing up on, you know, like older rock, so like Led Zeppelin and uh, Aerosmith. But I also get a, a lot of newer stuff. Um, just a lot of I like high high beat stuff, you know. Yeah. It's fast beat, but I also like to do the slow stuff too. Yeah. I do a lot of that. Well, there's a beautiful range there if you're going all the way back to Led Zeppelin and all the way to new metal contemporarily. Mm -hmm. That that gives your band, I think, maybe a breadth of influence that. Nah, it makes it cool. It yeah. beefs it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of my guitar playing is influenced by heavier shoegaze. So, like a lot of suspended chords and added um, or like extended power chords. And All right. I like new metal riffs a lot and breakdowns. Yeah. I like breakdowns. Breakdowns are cool. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, how long have you been uh, musicians? Like, you know, people who play music. What's, uh, yeah. I've been in, I've been playing drums for I think almost five years, six years now. Okay, I've been playing guitar since I was six, but I quit when I was ten and came back to it when I was twelve. Um, so I only really count the last three years because I forgot pretty much everything. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it a ton. All right. Um, I've been singing for around two years. I've been doing heavy vocals for about a year, and I play. I've been playing bass for five years. Oh, awesome. Uh, okay. I've done piano for nine years since I was really, really young, and then I picked up bass about nine, ten months ago. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know it watching you as well, nine, yeah. ten months of yeah, bass she goes, either. She goes crazy on bass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Incredible bass. She goes ham. <laughs> so what about uh, a moment or an experience you had in the program that you feel like will affect you or you'll take with you in the future as a musician? I think uh, last, oh my bad. You, mean, you could go. I think our last show was pretty good, like yeah. just performance wise. Yeah. And learning to just put on a good show is yeah, really yeah. helpful. Learning to be yourself mainly. Just our, be yourself on stage. At our first show, I was out of tune. <laughs> and I don't think I am ever going to be out of tune on stage again. Yeah. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a powerful lesson. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good lesson to learn. A hard one, but <laughs> it's good. Yeah. 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 What about over here? Anything you want to take away? Um, just, it took me a while to get really comfortable on stage singing because I play bass in two different bands. So I'm used to having something in my hands that I can focus on when I'm on stage, but you just have a mic. So you just got to right. like, so learning how to keep the energy up and, you know, just like jump around, go crazy. You, you did know? great though. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's fun. <laughs> fun is good. I think that's what we're here for. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Attica. And I want you to break a leg tomorrow. We're high voltage. Oh, yeah, shit. We're high voltage. <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs>
Can we sorry. keep that in? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you so much, High Voltage. Uh, I want you to break a leg tomorrow. Have a great show. And thanks for being a part of the Live It Out Loud program. Of course. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank Hopefully you. I don't break a leg. I kind of need mine. Yeah, it's really pretty metal. You don't need your legs. I don't <laughs> need my legs, I guess. Somebody <laughs> Google why we say that. That's a yeah. thing, you know, right? Yeah. When you have yeah. for performance. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll look it up. <laughs> <laughs>